Hey there, friends. Welcome back to a sub channel, your go-to place for quick and easy math tips. Today, we're diving into a super simple but incredibly useful conversion, millimeters to meters. Whether you're working on a school project, tackling a DIY task, or just brushing up on your metric system knowledge, this video is for you. So, let's get started. First, let's get clear on what we're dealing with. We know that both millimeters and meters are units of length in the metric system, but they're very different in size. A millimeter is one thousandth of a meter. That means there are one thousand millimeters in a single meter. Sounds like a lot, right? But don't worry, converting between these two is a piece of cake. The measurement of distance, denoted as d in meters, m, can be expressed as the distance d in millimeters mm divided by a factor of 1000. Imagine you have a long piece of string that is exactly one meter long. If you cut that string into 1000 equal pieces, each piece would be one millimeter long. So, to convert millimeters to meters, you simply divide by 1000. Let's see this formula in action with a couple of examples. Example 1, convert 2500 millimeters to meters. Using our formula, we take 2,500 and divide by 1,000. So, 2,500 millimeters is equal to 2.5 meters. Simple, right? Now let's try another one. Example 2, convert 75 millimeters to meters. Again, we divide by 1,000. So, 75 millimeters is equal to 0 0.075 meters. See how easy that is? Just move the decimal point three places to the left. And voila! You have your answer. Before we wrap up, here's a quick tip to make things even easier. When you're converting smaller numbers like 75 millimeters, think of it in terms of centimeters first. Since there are 10 millimeters in a centimeter, 75 millimeters is 7.5 centimeters, and then you just divide by 100 to get meters. Handy, right? If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more math tips and tricks. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover next. Thanks for watching, and see you next time on a SUP channel.